Well, that gap exists everywhere, but it is pronounced to a very different extent. In the UK, you can still see that social background makes a significant difference for the success of a child. Uh, that is not so much the case in Northern Europe, and that's much less of the case in many of the East Asian systems. So again, it's a challenge for every education system. There's no system where social background is not at all important, but the degree to which it impacts on learning outcomes varies, and that tells us we can do better in not only raising quality, but also improving equity. And do you know from the data what is the key factor in overcoming the disadvantaged social economic background? Actually, yeah, we have done some very interesting analysis on research allocation. And what you can actually see is that education systems that allocate their resources more equitably, seen through, this, so through the lens of school principals in this data set, actually. Uh, there's a, there's a cross-country correlation with their overall performance. So basically, deploying your resources equitably, ensuring that poor schools have access to great teaching and great resources is something that, as a system, seems to generate better outcomes.